from high atop the stego slide, I observe my domain. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Play, or Let's Clean, rather, Power Wash Simulator. If you're new here, like if you were to randomly recommended this video by YouTube, hi! We're going around scrubbing grime off of things, except instead of scrubbing, we're just blasting them off of the water cannon. It's kind of cool. But I mean, it's not extremely cool. It's just kind of cool. This ver right now, this doesn't have any soap in it. We're just using uh, pure kinetic force to blast the dirt off. You know, path of least resistance and all that thing that's least attached is the grime on the outer layer of the object. So that is what goes. Yeah, it's a stegosaurus. I learned, I remember reading, learning a funny thing. Uh, about stegosaurs. The, uh, yeah, Gary Larson, dude what did The Far Side back in the day, did a strip, I, I remember this one, of a bunch of caveman scientists talking to each other. And, uh, they were saying that this part is, uh, you know, the Thagomizer, as named for the late Professor Thag Stevens, who, uh, <laughs> you know, is implied to have been killed by it. This giant bone club on the end of a stegosaurus tail. You skip ahead, like, 15, 20 years. And uh, someone who, who, you know, remembers that cartoon from when he was a kid goes to college. I don't know if it was a dude, I shouldn't say that. But, um, they discover that there is no actual term for the bone club on a stegosaurus tail. So they declare that the official term is the Thagomizer. And I very much like that. I'm taking this silly joke from a cartoon. And, uh... And, you know, and making it an actual, you know, thing of paleontology. Exactly how big that one was. The only number I remember, of course, is the red one, which is zero. Another zero or one. It was zero. It's not stand there. I imagine all the grime running down the thing and onto my feet, and that's gross. Central. Not on this side either. We'll have to be careful about it then. Wait. This is a place for children, and children might be, like, coming by and watching. Uh... 
There we go. Arch. <laughs> That's a word I can put in the wall that the kid I won't get in trouble for. For putting that in front of kids. <laughs> not that I'm not certain the kids haven't heard and said worse by, you know, the time they're old enough to think in these days. But, uh... Well, I think it's just a simple matter of, uh, the park warden not hiring me again. Is it really park warden? That seems weird. Yeah, park warden. I don't know, maybe it's an American thing. As far as I know, we only get park wardens in Canada for, uh, national parks. Really, really big places that are mostly forest. Oops, it's uh, this one. Yeah, it's good. Huh, guess I must have gotten these ones by accident. Look at that, up to almost a quarter. See, if I had been thinking about where I was when I started writing up there, I would have written but. That almost looked like a symbol from a distance. There was some uh, crap right in there in your Grundle region. Doc Powerwash ever speaks, or if it's uh, Harper who does all the talking for the business. Well, now I'm just imagining him as the pyro from uh, 
Team Fortress, you know, just standing there in the suit all the time, even. He's a deeply disturbed man, and I wouldn't recommend leaving him alone around your poultry. But by God, he was born to power wash. Oh, you know what? Nice! Good as new. Okay, that's the outliers. Minus this bench. Huh. I thought there were just the two. Eh, I guess not. Dang it, you'd think that would push it away, but I don't know how pressure works. There is a thing like that, isn't there? Where it's like you put two pieces of paper on either side of a hair dryer, and when you turn it on, instead of being blown apart, they'll be pulled together. Or, depending on how tightly you're holding on, they'll be blown across the floor. But, you know, if you're holding on tight enough, they get pushed apart. I mean, push together, yes, yes. I don't remember the scientific phenomenon behind this, just that it is, in fact, a thing. Mixing those up all of a sudden. Or mixing those up. Hmm. When they announced when they announced this game, it must have seemed like a like a shit post. <laughs> More than anything else. Oh, there's a spot. There's a thing to start with. Oh no, it loops around here. I was going to say I could just get this blue thing, but no, no, no. It goes all the way around. Okay, here's this. So. Cheery cartoon sun. Mind you, a cheery cartoon sun did attempt to jump to jump scare me once.
Sorry about that. Something very important needed to be attended to. Okay, let's see. Can't rotate this one, which makes sense, since we can only slap it into place in uh, given locations. My god, this playground will spark joy again. So let it be written. So let it be done. Okay. It's probably way easier. And over here as well. Well, that was satisfying. That tricky 
section there, Don. Oh, there's the timer. Oh boy, this is gonna be a big task. You know, it's a work in progress. Still only have to 29% completion on the entire site. But, uh... I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. Later.